Do you want to know how to use Google Drive as an FTP server? Then watch this video until the end. Hi guys, this is James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive as an FTP server. To do this, I'm using Google Drive API and Google Drive FTP adapter. Ok, let's see how to do it. First, I'm going to show you how to download packages from Oracle website without signing in. We need to install JDK and Apache Maven on our system. They will be used to build the FTP adapter from the source. I bet that you guys have noticed that now we can't download Java packages from the Oracle website without signing in. But I found a method. To download any JRE or JDK package from the Oracle download page without signing in, go to the download page for the version you want and click on the download link of the package of your choice. When the window pops up saying you need to accept the license agreement, check the box that says you agree. Instead of clicking on the green download link which will send you to the login page, right click on the download link and select copy link location. If clicking download doesn't show up a pop up window and takes you directly to the login page instead, you will need to clear your cookies on the Java website or open in incognito mode. Now open up a new tab and paste the copied link into the address bar. Your link should look like this. Now remove this part from the URL and replace OTN with OTN pub as I do. Right, now this URL should work. Yeah, great. Next, I'm going to download Apache Maven. Open up a new tab and go to the Maven download page. You can see several packages here. If you are using Windows, download the zip file. But if you are using another operating system, you can follow the tutorials I have mentioned in the video description to download and install JDK and Apache Maven. Also, we need to download an FTP client. I'm going to use FileZilla. Next step is installing JDK and Maven. First, I'm going to install JDK. It's pretty easy. We can do it quickly by clicking a few times on the next button. After the installation, now it is time to set environment variables in Java. But before doing so, I would like to install Maven too. Then I can set environment variables for both at once. To install Maven, first we should extract the zip file to the location where we want to store the Maven packet. I renamed the Maven folder because it would be more comfortable for me seeing the path without the version number. You can see how it looks like after it is extracted. Ok, let's set the environment variables. To do so, on the Windows search bar, type something like environment variables and Select Edit the System Environment Variables option from the search results. Next click on Environment Variables. Then click on New under System Variables. Here you should add a new record. Type Java Home in the Variable Name field. And as the variable value, give the Java folders path. We want a path of the JDK package. Right, default Java folder path looks like this. Copy it and paste it down here. You can also add the Java class to the environment variables, but we don't need to do it for this tutorial. If you want to add it too, please follow the tutorial I have mentioned in the description. Let's click on new again to add a record for Apache Maven. Type Maven home in the variable name field. And 
as the variable value give the maven folders path. Then click on OK. Next on the system variables, find the value named path. Then double click on it to add a new record. You can find a folder named bin inside the maven folder, copy its path and paste it into an empty field on the values window. Then press OK to save the values. Right, now we can verify the installation. Open up the CMD window and type the following command. You will get an output looks something like this. Right guys, next I am going to install FileZilla. Here I'm going to download the source code of Google Drive Web TP adapter. Also we'll show you why we can't use its releases and why we should build from source. Open your browser and search for Google Drive Web TP adapter on Google. Go to the result from GitHub. First, I'm going to download the latest build to show you why we can't use releases. Let's see why we can't use releases. When you select the account you want, you will see that sign has been disabled. That means we should build it from the source using our own client ID and secret to get it worked. We use Maven to build the package. Here you can see the default username, password, server name and default port number. You can download the source using git clone if you have installed git on your PC, but I'm going to download the source as a zip file. Before doing anything, delete the pre-built package we downloaded and delete its data folder. If it cannot be deleted, first stop the adapter using the task manager. Next, extract the zip file and go into the project folder. Now we should replace the default client ID and secret with our own ones. Go to SRC, Main, Resources, then open client secret JSON with your favorite text editor. Here you can see the default or out client ID and secret. We should use our own ones to get a working login page. So in the next step, we are going to create our own or out client ID and secret. Open a new tab and go to this URL. Click here and create a new project. Give it a name and click on create. Next go to APIs and services. From here you can enable APIs. After coming to the API library, search for Google Drive API, then enable it. Next click on Credentials, select Google Drive API from the first drop down list and here you should select Other UI. 
Next, click the user data radio button and click on this button. Yeah, we need to set up the consent screen. You select external and click on create. You just give a name for the app and give one of your email addresses. Then click here to continue. Oh, here you should give the email address again. It is not required to fill in other data, so we can leave them empty. Yeah, we just created the consent screen and now we can get all our client ID and secret. Click on refresh and here you can get them. Next click here and next click on the client ID we just created. From here, copy your client ID and secret and replace the ones in the file with yours. Next save the file and close the editor. Right now it is time to build the FTP adapter using Maven. First go to the project's root and type CMD in the address bar, then hit enter. Now we can build the adapter using this command. After it is done, you can close the CMD window. Now you will see a folder named target. Go into it. And find this package and run it. Next login with the Google account associated with Google Drive you need to use as an FTP server. Right, close the browser window and open your FTP client. Here provide the server address, username, password and port number. Oh, I forgot the port number, let's see it again. Here you can see default credentials for the FTP server. Enter these values in the FTP client and click on connect. Great, here you can see the content in my drive. Also you can view the index using this. Right, it works well. If you want to use another Google Drive account with this adapter, first you should stop the adapter using the task manager. You can see it stopped successfully. Next, delete the folder named data inside the target folder. Now you can use another account by running the job package again. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. To watch more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.